darkness, my old friend. All right. Welcome to Dial In for Movies. This is Henry Confidential once again with There Will Be Trivia. And hey, look, we actually have another episode and one new face at least. Um, we got a new match, and I'm going to be hosting with my buddy over there, Andrew. Hey, what's up? I'm the dude. We have two competitors. One dropped out, so I originally had a video idea that we were going to do some stuff, but we have a, a fill-in right now, so we're just going to introduce them on screen. So our first competitor we have returning, Mike Hanley. Hey, how's it going? Glad to be back. And we have a new guy, Greg, a guy that... It's kind of like a rival to me on another um, association. So uh, we'll see how I am uh-huh. unbiased on this one. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm thinking. But I appreciate being here. It's always great to do movie trivia. I'm excited. So we're going to start up with a warm-up, which I'm going to ask a question. And then, Mike, you just have to say your name. Mike, Greg, you're just going to say your name, Greg. And wait until I call on you that I acknowledge that I know that you're the one that got it in and then we're gonna answer the question if you answer correctly you'll be able to use the advantage for round one plus go in with a point if you answer incorrectly the other person is going to go in with the advantage but it'll start off zero zero for the warm-up what university did john nash go to in a beautiful mind oh, oh, Greg. all right go ahead Princeton. Ooh, there we go so you're going to get a point and you're going to get the advantage for round one Okay, round one's pretty simple, but kind of complicated. I'm going to give you 10 category options, and you have the advantage now. You're going to pick the five that you want that are going to be the same question for both of you, but the advantage is you get to pick the five of the 10 that are going to be asked, and it's going to be two questions per category, so a total of 10 questions. Is that clear? Yep. All right, so your options are classics, musicals, horror, foreign biopics 80s 90s war adventure and animation all right let's go with uh bio animation 90s war and uh i was just gonna get uh let's just do adventure okay Andrew, do you want to ask the first question under biopics? Okay. Under the category of biopics, uh, what is the name of the lo- love interest in Walk the Line? If I was drunk, I wonder if I'd be able to walk in a line. <laughs> get that. Get the test. Yeah. Yeah, no, I always can't say the uh, alphabet backwards sober, so, you know, I probably could do it you know drunk you know because yeah. i'm always better when i'm drunk <laughs> and just to clear clarify for this question it's the character name or in this case real life person not the yep. actress all right we ready yep greg you're the newcomer so let's let's hear what you got in june carter june carter that's correct that's correct and for mike yeah i had no idea i put karen <laughs> <laughs> all righty i'll go, you can go ahead and read number question two as well for biopics andrew Okay, there are zero. There are zero lines spoken by a woman in Lawrence of Arabia. True or false? All right, we're gonna go ahead and go with Mike this time. What'd you write down? False. All right, mm-hmm. let's see what uh, Greg wrote. I also wrote false. Oh, that answer is false, or like you guys are both falsely wrong. It was- <laughs> <laughs> Just to clarify, the correct answer is true. Thanks for the clarification there, 50-50. Yeah. All right. Watch um, that movie. I, yeah, I, I haven't woman. seen it. That, 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 that three-and-a-half-hour runtime is kind of scary. Love yeah. that movie. All right. So second category. We're going to go with 90s. I'm going to read them off. First question. In Days and Confuse, what did the seniors do to the incoming freshmen? This could be, uh, you know, pretty much anything, you know? Yeah. They can talk to them. <laughs> Make sweet love to them, you know? Yeah. I mean, there's anything they could be doing. Um, let's go with Greg. Uh, spank their butts with paddles. Hey, that, 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 
Mike, did you agree? Smack their ass with paddles. <laughs> I like it. I'm pretty sure that is illegal nowadays. Yeah, I think I don't think they'd get away with that. Especially, yeah. especially when you have the moms coming out with shotguns. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Ben Affleck didn't has been <laughs> since a while. Yeah, he definitely had it coming though, especially with and the paint towards the end. All right, question two in nineties. In Goodwill Hunting, what team game? So it's a sports match. What team though? Did he skip in order to meet his wife? Oh, there's a, there's a lot of teams. Maybe Andrew and Mike can be a team one day. Yeah, good teams, bad teams. Yeah, nope. any teams. All right, Mike. Let's see what you got. Start them off. Red Sox. Correct. Greg, did you agree? It was the Boston Red Sox baseball Carlton Fisk home run game because he missed the go, go, <laughs> go. <laughs> I didn't know Pudge was going to hit a homer. <laughs> I love it. All right. Andrew, do you want to read them the questions for war? War. Of course I do. Under the category of war, what was Private Ryan's first and middle name in SPR? Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. You would think that this would be a very obnoxious question. Like, oh, that's such a dip pick. Just specify first and middle. Cause like, oh, what, is, what was Private Ryan's name in saving Private Ryan? <laughs> All right. Greg's, Greg's shaking his head, so let's see what he got. Don Andrew? Uh-uh. How about you? Mike? James Francis, Ryan? James Francis. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice, nice. That, that's a good answer right there. Because uh, right, Greg is up four to three now. So the only difference really is that first round, the warm-up. All right, so question two, um, Andrew, let have it. All right, who are the three leads in Three Kings? Now we're looking for all three answers? The actors' names. The actors' names, yeah. So in the movie Three Kings, who are the three kings? Go ahead. Mark Wahlberg, George Clooney, and um, uh, what about – Ice Cube. I don't know why. I, forgot. <laughs> I like your memory there. Let's I know. That's so sad. <laughs> Let's see if Greg can recite his answers a little better. Mark Wahlberg, George Clooney, Ice Cube, and the fourth member, Spike Jones. Yeah, for a little bit. Yeah. Spoiler alert. No, no extra points are uh, awarded for that. Yeah. Do I do I do I get the points for saying the date? No, Scott Van. <laughs> any bonus points? Moving on to the next question. We're going to go with yeah. animation. In The Emperor's New Groove, Cusco gets turned into a llama. What does Yzma eventually get turned into? A lot of animals out there. Yeah. Animal Kingdom, Animal House. Great movie, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Flounder. Mike, you want to? You comfortable? You ready? See what you got? Camel? Ooh. Oh. Let's see if Greg knows. A kitten or a cat? Yeah, a little kitty. Yeah, yeah. Specifically a white cat. It was like purple, but yeah, purple white. Yeah, it was like yeah. white. <laughs> All right, question two. In Lilo and Stitch, Stitch was eventually named Stitch, but what was his experiment name slash number? What <laughs> care? <laughs> I care. The animation you're gonna be Lilo. Yeah, dude. Hey. I, I know this one because, you know, he read I it. just – I get that. I no, no, actually, I legitimately knew this one. All right, all right, Greg, let's see if you care. 51. All right, Mike, <laughs> let's see if you care. 89? No. No, oh, 69. No, I'm just kidding. 626. <laughs> yeah, who cares? It played a important part of the movie. Yeah, that I watched the movie a lot as a kid, you know. Area right. 51, finish, important part. To finish, right? To finish up round one with the score currently six to four. Thank you. Going into the final questions for round one. All right, under adventure. Whose treasure, whose treasure map is found in the Goonies? Oh. I love questions <laughs> like that. Those reactions are the best. I literally just saw it two weeks ago. Uh, this movie came out in 1985. I don't even think people nowadays could read a map. 
Nah, nah, I certainly can. All right, Mike. I can barely read. Can you read a map? One-eyed Willie. Ooh, Ooh. Greg. One-eyed Willie. All, All right. right. Correct. Oh, thank <laughs> God. <laughs> All right. The final question in round one. Oh, I'm going to repeat Willie. All right. All right, which I personally think is the hardest question out of all of these. Who plays Sauron in Lord of the Rings? The Lord of the Rings franchise, Saruman. Wait, Sauron or Saruman? Oh, Saruman, Saruman my bad. Sauron. Oh, Jesus. Big difference, huh? Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Damn it. That's, that's, why felt, that's, why, that's why I felt the need to clarify. That's, that's a huge difference. Yeah, no, I, yeah. The joys of playing over the internet. The, the yeah. I was like, no shit, that's a hard question. <laughs> All right, Greg, since it's so easy, let's see what you got. Christopher Lee. Ooh, Mike, do you agree? I had Christopher Lee, but I erased it. How do I believe that? I don't believe that. I know you don't, because I got the names confused, Saruman and Saruman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so going into round two, Greg is going to be up eight to five, which out of ten questions, you got seven of them. Pretty good. Better than I did in my first match. Yeah, that's true. Wouldn't we have? Wouldn't I have gotten eight of them? Oh, right, because of the uh, the pre. Yeah. Match. There you go. You're, you're catching on there, kid. All right, so here's here's our options. How many points for zero? Three. Okay, so three, two, one. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. Zero, four, two. <laughs> All right, Greg, you're ahead. So you here. Here are your categories: Alfred Hitchcock movies, franchise movies. So this could be any movie that is in part of a franchise, or new releases, movies that came out in 2016. Let's go with new releases. All right, new releases. Okay, now that you both know, you can go ahead, write it down. Don't say it out loud. Write it down what you're going to choose. To clarify, do you just let's do it this way. Do you want zero, four, or two multiple choice options? So just make sure we're clear. Okay, so go ahead and write that down and then show me, and then we'll get your questions read. All right, Mike, what are you, you going to go for? I'm going to go with four. Four? So your questions will be worth two points. Same. Okay. Same? All right, yeah. perfect. And just for bragging rights, if you want to answer the question before the multiple choices is read, you, you're more than welcome. Just yeah. so that you know it. All right? No, okay. All right. All right. Okay, cool. So, Mike, for your first question in round two. Okay. How many alien ships landed in Arrival? One. Is that your final answer? Actually, multiple choice. Let's just do multiple choice just in case. Deal. Deal. Just because we're new to this, I will, I'll accept that. But yeah. don't, be, don't be screaming out answers, McWeenie. I totally forgot that it was multiple choice. Yeah. Deal! All right. Is it A, 1, B, 3, C, 12, or D, 20? C. C, 12? That is correct. How do you go from 1 to 12? <laughs> because we're, we're working on it. It's a new process. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Greg, for your first question in round two. What would the brothers do with the stolen money from the banks in Hell or High Water? Very good movie, you know. Multiple choice. Okay. Well, that's all what you got, but yeah. Would they A, bury it, B, trade it at the casino, C, save it up, or D, sell it on the black market. I get those again. A, bury it. B, trade them at the casino. C, save it. Or D, sell it on the black market. Casino. Sell at the casino. Correct. That's correct. That's actually really smart. I don't know if that would work in real life, but if it if it would, that is that was a pretty genius writing there by Taylor Sheridan, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah Taylor Sheridan. Yeah. Ten to seven. Going to your second question, Mike. 
What sport did Patrick play in Manchester by the Sea? Patrick is the nephew of Casey Affleck. Uh, yeah, the multiple choice. Is it A, baseball, B, golf, C, hockey, or D, football? Hockey. Hockey, that's correct for two. Hockey, very good sport, you know? Very fun to watch. I like it. All righty. Greg, for your second question. Speaking of sports, what sport did Denzel Washington play as a child or a youth in fences? Baseball. That is correct. All righty. So back over to you, Mike, for your final question in round two. Who plays Desmond Doss's father in Hacksaw Ridge? Looking for the actor name. Hugo Weaving. Oh, Oh. way to finish strong. Red Skull himself. I'm actually glad you answered that because the the multiple choice options were pretty pathetic. (laughs) Or or a guy fox, you know, whatever you prefer. All right, for your final question, let's see if this one's as easy for you here, Greg. (laughs) What body part does Russell Crowe's character break of Ryan Gosling's character in The Nice Guys? Okay, I'm pretty sure I know it, but just give me the multiple choice. Okay, is it A, arm, B, leg, C, nose, or D, jaw? Okay, I didn't, I didn't, want, I didn't want you to have some specific thing like the, you know, the funny bone or whatever. It's the arm. <laughs> yeah, that's the correct. That, that's also a very good movie. It is. Um, one of my All favorites. Right, yeah. That was a pretty good second round for both of you guys. We are currently at 14 to 11, going into the third and potential final round. Here's what we're going to do. It's pretty simple. Mike, you have 11 points. You cannot bet zero, and you cannot bet any more than 11. It's kind of like a poker game. You can only bet what you got. Greg, same thing for you. You can't bet zero, and you can't bet any more than 14. I'm going to read you a quote, and you have to name the movie. But here's the twist. If you get it wrong, you lose what you bet. So there's a little bit of strategy involved. So, for example, Greg, you can't say, oh, I'm going to bet eight because that puts him out of way. So if you miss it, you lose those eight. Okay? So have some strategy going down. Write it down. Well, this could potentially be a game changer. Just look what happened to Mark Ellis against uh, JTE. Yep. All right. So, are we ready? Yep. For potentially our final question of the game. All right. Like I said, it's a movie quote. So, I'm going to read the quote, and you just have to name the movie. Okay. Okay. Here's the quote I don't read the script, the script reads me. No, movies have scripts in it. So, this could be, you know, potentially any movie. Yeah, that's that's we, can, we got some kind of some Yoda words going here. You yeah. That. You want me to repeat it? Please. I don't read the script. The script reads me. Who knows? All right, I'm gonna give us a five count. Five, four, three, two, and one. Mike, since you're behind, go ahead and tell. I me bet what nine you. points. Tropic Thunder, Osiris, Robert Downey Jr. How many points did you bet? Nine points. Nine points. So that puts you up to 20. <laughs> and Greg? I uh, bet two. I put Argo. Oh, my goodness. We have a comeback. And our winner going to go up 2-0 now. <laughs> and unfortunately for Greg, but also to give him, make him feel a little bit better, it was a last-minute thing. Well, good job, Mike. Way to know Tropic Thunder. Yeah. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right, Mike. How do you feel about being two and zero in the OP trivia? I feel good. The, this match was definitely a kick in my ass. From the majority yeah, of the match, you were, only, you were only down three. So I mean, it's not. I know like, it's that Lord of the Rings yeah. question that I'm pissed about. <laughs> yeah, I feel good so being two and zero. He had on you was from the the warm ups. I mean that, that that was just you know quick on the draw. Yeah. Well, but I enjoyed um, myself. Like usual, I'm having fun. This is always fun to do. Yeah, that's all. That's all we're trying to do. It's a work in progress, you know. 
it, nothing nothing ever goes completely 100 percent full throttle instantly there's gonna be room for adjustments and hopefully we can get a crew going and have some matches and some consistency andrew how'd you feel hosting over there uh i, I room for improvement on my end but you know feels great i'd rather compete but you know that's tomorrow. Yeah, so. that is that figured out. But uh, this yeah, was super. pretty fun. Hopefully, people like it, and see you real soon. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. This is Mr. DVD. My strengths are Spielberg movies, ninety movies, and horror movies. Hello, darkness, my old friend.